With wildfire season dangers at a fever pitch and the 4th of July approaching just days away, for many it means hanging out by the pool and of course lighting off fireworks. Fire officials all want the public to use extreme caution when lighting off fireworks, especially during critical fire weather conditions. Christian Sita live tonight in Spanish Fork after speaking with city leaders there. And Christian, what are they telling you? Mark and Heidi, this right here is the Fire Prevention and Fireworks Act. Now, this document outlines public safety code for those who want to use fireworks. Now, fire officials are asking the public to use common sense and do it safely. Use extreme caution. These fireworks are very dangerous. They cause fires. Eddie Hills with the Spanish Fork Fire Department knows it's that time of the year. It's why he wants to highlight the importance of firework safety. We have restricted the areas that we feel that are vulnerable. However, that doesn't indicate that not all of our areas that do allow fireworks, that those areas aren't vulnerable as well. We just ask people to use extreme caution when using fireworks. This summer, Utah is experiencing hot and dry conditions, the perfect mix for disaster. We do have a fire restriction that just went into place today here locally as well on the south bench of our city. Is there a certain point where the city can tell its residents they can't shoot any fireworks? So state law allows us to restrict certain areas within our municipality from fireworks being allowed. However, state law doesn't allow us to restrict fireworks in all areas of our community. Something like a full ban would need to be done by legislative action. The city doesn't have the power to enact it. In 2021, Governor Spencer Cox issued a firework ban for all state and private unincorporated lands due to drought conditions. Historically, the city of Spanish Fork is, has not restricted a full citywide firework ban, and so uh, I don't project that happening. So if you plan to light off fireworks, if they uh, have an area where they're in a restricted zone, we encourage them to go and, and to a park or to a neighborhood that is allowed to shoot those fireworks off. Now the public can legally light off fireworks starting tomorrow. Reporting live, Christian Sita, KUTV 2 News.